right, everybody. Let's see if we can get going here. Um, if you can't hear me, do me a favor and uh, write something up on Facebook because I'm trying to use OBS, which um, will be the first time. Let's see if we turn it in. How's it going? All right, I see we're popping up. All right. All right, everybody. Let's see if we can get going here. All right, what we're going to do today, give me one second, I'll go ahead and pop on over. How's it going? This is Josh with um, Josh King Creative. Um, what I wanted to do tonight was go on Google Maps, um, find something cool to draw, maybe a little quick urban sketch, kind of show you how I've been going around and looking for buildings. Google Maps is pretty amazing if you haven't messed with it. So I want to switch over and let you see what I'm going to do a little bit. But I want to do the sketch <clears throat> and just kind of talk. And I'll try and check over and see if you all have any comments or anything like that. And if I can't, then I'll respond to you once this is over. OK? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop on over now. All right, all right, all right. All right, basically, in Google Maps. So you can pretty much go most of the, you know, most of the world. You can go look around at Google Maps. What I'll do is um, I'll want to go <clears throat> draw something from Savannah, where I got to go with my wife a couple years ago. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in onto the area that I know I'd like to go to. Go ahead and click on over to the satellite view. If you have never been to Savannah, if you like art and you like beer, then you need to go visit. It's a pretty amazing place. I go over here and I click on 3D, which will kind of give us a 3D view of what's happening. Now, if you hit Control, you can actually spin and look around here. So what I'll do is I know that right in here is the Pirate House. And this is the famed house where many pirates back in the day would um, wait till patrons got too drunk and would knock them out, throw them in the basement, and there was a tunnel system that apparently ran over here, and they would end up basically kidnapping them, and when the people came to, they were slaves at sea. So I thought it was pretty cool, um, so Boris kind of wanted to build it. So once I find where I want to go, if you continue to roll in with your mouse, you'll eventually go to Street View. I'll let it catch up. All right, so here we are on Street View. Now, if you look up here, you see this picture was taken April of 2016. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to get one that doesn't really have all these cars. So you can click on this, and you can actually back up a couple. You can, you know, each time the Google cars come through. Now, I like this one because it's pretty much empty in front. So I'll just click on that, and it'll change it back to October of 2012. And this is more the view that I think I wanted to do. So I'll scoot over one click here and we'll do something maybe kind of like this. Let's see, maybe I can scoot over one more. Maybe something kind of like this. Alright, so here's my picture. Alright, this is what I'm going to be drawing from. Um, make Pop back over to you all. Let's see here. All right, I think I've actually, this is working pretty well. All right, so what I'm going to do is come back to me for a second. And so this is what we're going to draw, OK? Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to our drawing. Is it this one, this one, I think. There we go. Look at that. What? How cool is this? OK, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a pencil and <clears throat> I'm sure you'll, you know, you'll meet a lot of people who will give you tons of advice on which pencil to use and all this. I'm a pretty simple guy, so uh, let me adjust my camera a little bit, sorry. So I'll pretty much just stick with the normal pencil, but we'll go ahead and start drawing here. Let's see. Usually what I try and do is just try and figure out the main rough angles of what I'm going to do. Now, in high school, I had an art teacher named Mr. Davis, and uh, Mr. Davis rode us like Zorro to learn how to work in perspective. And um, quite honestly, he used to drive me crazy with it to the point I even tried cheating a lot of times, and he pretty much caught me every time. But I never realized the importance of learning perspective. Now, if I was actually doing this the way he wanted, we would go ahead and knock out vanishing points in each direction. So I try not to sketch using a ruler. All right. But what I will try and do is get a little pen out here and just kind of give myself a rough idea where my vanishing point might be. And what it'll do is it'll help just give me something to aim at so and again if you want I can always pop back over to the um, picture for you Let's see if I can three so again this is what we're drawing right here uh, you can go to Google Maps, Savannah, in front of the Pirate House. You can zoom right in here. And I think I went back to 2012 if y'all are just tuning in. All right. So, the Pirate House is cool. You go in and you take the tour and all this kind of stuff, and they take you down to the basement. So, if you ever, if you ever get a chance, make sure you go check it out. I want to put my other... Finish the point out here. Let's see. Get some in here. Now do me a favor if you're listening to this first, follow me on Instagram at Fat Crayon or at Snapchat at Josh and Go, which is really more for my work, but I'm uh, trying to figure out how to snap, so I'm willing to take any recommendations from anyone who knows what they're doing. This looks like this goes way back, doesn't it? I may not match it exactly, so but we'll do the best we can here. Now it looks like we have a little point here. You can see my... Um, the angle I'm working in is not the exact angle that the picture is, but I kind of like doing that because I don't want to just go trace exactly what everybody can see, you know. I want to put my own spin on it. So if this comes down and this is split right about half, little thing going like this. Now this comes out horrible. I'll just delete this video. Fair, fair, fair. And what I, I've been watching a lot of um, these videos on YouTube that are talking about the best way to do this urban sketching and stuff. And they say try and do it real loose. I don't get into a whole lot of the detail work. I will do that like when the time comes with my um, with my pen. Sometimes I will put more detail work in there, but. I don't know if any of y'all ever listened to any of the TED Talks. I was listening to one today that was talking about, um, I can't remember the lady who gave the talk, but she was talking about, you know, ever from the time you're about five years old, everybody wants to know what you're going to be when you grow up. And she brought up some pretty interesting points. You know, all of us, I'm sure 
at one point or another wanted to be an astronaut, be the president, you know, um, be a superhero, things like that. And then eventually you get to a certain age, and when you tell people, you hey, I want to be a superhero, they're like, oh, no, you, you can't do that. And then they start telling you, you've got to pretty much narrow down what you want to be. And I never really thought about it, but it's kind of a lame thing to uh, tell a kid that you can be just one thing. I mean, historically, you said in the Renaissance period, people that were very good at multiple things were the most coveted. But um, these days, you pretty much, they say, oh, you know, you have to go ahead and decide one thing. That you're going to be. Well, that was personally one of my struggles. I, um, I had dreams, you know, that I wanted to go, wanted to go work for Disney and believe it or not, get into computer animation, which I thought sounded pretty cool. Didn't really know what I was talking about and made really zero preparations, um, to go do that. And in the end, I was looking through a magazine and sent off for a free army t-shirt. And that is how I went to spend a little time in service, which, you know, was great for me. Um, during that time, I pretty much blew off uh, in my creative side. Um, really, didn't, you really don't do a whole lot of art when you're in the army, especially in a light infantry unit. It's not what you do. But it was always kind of there, and then I ended up going to college and took about every major known to man. I, um, I'm not saying that, I'm really not joking. I, I, uh, I think I started out a nursing major. Um, wanted to do that because I went to EMT school when I was in the military, so I thought maybe I'd try and continue on with that. And then I switched over to criminal justice. Um, Thought I might want to do that for a while, spend some of my Army experience in, and then I um, switched over to secondary education because I am a big <clears throat> fan of history. Um, so I thought maybe I could teach history, you know, be the eccentric history professor that nobody wants to take. I felt like maybe that was going to be my role. But um, when I was taking one of a child psych course, and um, was walking through the back of the psych building and lo and behold there was a TV station. So I walked into the first professor's office and her name is Dr. Carrie Crisco and she's amazing and has been a mentor for me through my time been through school and I love her. I still go and see her whenever possible when I'm down in Louisiana. <clears throat> but um, she kind of gave me the lowdown. You know we talked for a while and uh, the hook was pretty much sunk. I took a couple classes um, on basic video editing and uh, but the real turning point came is when she said that they had to um, they had an internship at media post Chris Longyon still works media post in um, up there in Lake Charles Louisiana and uh, I got in there and I remember him saying to me um, you know, Photoshop. I'm like, yeah, no, I really don't. I'm like, well, you know, you're really not any good to us right now. So I pretty much spent the first chunk of my internship. We were cutting people out um, for these, like, graduation, um, you know, pictures, like people sitting on the, you know, LaGrange High School or whatever, letters and stuff like that. That's pretty much what I did. Um, but, you know, after a couple of weeks, I started understanding layers and things like that, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and he said, now, watch this, we're going to make it all move. And he introduced me to After Effects. And, man, game changer. I mean, been a bit of a nerd my whole life. You know, big Star Wars fan and everything. But seeing After Effects and what you can do with it was a big game changer. And it steered me away from really this. Because then I got into a lot of post-production. I mean, there's it's one of those jobs where, you know, someone ever says, oh yeah, I know After Effects. Like, you never truly know After Effects. You continue to learn in After Effects your, you know, pretty much your entire life. Um, and I loved it. Man, I loved it. But, uh, so that's why when, you know, the 
lady was talking about um you know people having to choose I mean I remember I remember you know being told well you know you can't you know you got to choose you got to decide what you want to be it just sucks you shouldn't have to really decide you should be able to just track on whatever financially it's probably not very viable unless you're in a special situation but it would be cool to think that you could only focus on your art and uh, so when I moved, I moved over here to Concord, North Carolina. I met some people. Some actually, there's really a pretty amazing group of talented people here. There are actors. There are artists. There are amazing artists who don't even practice their art. Which Kenny Nash, Ryan. I mean, I could go into a, I could go into names, but I won't call you out like that. Oops, I just did. Um, super talented artists could easily be working. In the, in the business, in the television business, let alone, you know, graphic design and everything else could easily be working, you know, but again, a lot of time it's just life path where things take you. So one thing I'm trying to do is trying to get all of us together, you know, let's, let's work on some things collectively. I, um, been thinking about doing like a, a, a creativity coalition, maybe <clears throat> you know, especially just to go talk to some of the younger kids, you know, I say younger kids, let me rephrase, more like high school age, you know, who don't really know what they're going to do, but know they want to do something. And, uh, and tell them, you know, it, you know, you have a ton of options, especially in today. Like the fact that I can sit here with all of you and draw and do this is pretty much amazing. I mean, how amazing is this? Um, I've got... You know, people literally all over the world. I've got um, Royce and Hesse down in, she's in Brazil now. She's originally from Ireland. I've known her remotely for, I think, in maybe 2006 I wrote her because I liked her art and she did some drawings for me. And um, uh, even this last time, uh, I met somebody down in Brazil. I'll just show you this right here. We uh, were supposed to be working on this. She said, can you draw this right here? And this is that Chicago scene, and I'll be honest with you, this uh, this perspective right here, killing me. So, if you're watching this, I apologize, I haven't tracked on that. I promise you I'm going to get on it. Alright, rough sketch going on here. What's going on? Let me see, let me pop over and see if I've got anybody that's actually... Jason Elliott, my man. Yeah, uh, Jason, I worked with the WSOC TV, naturally um, talented photographer, went on to do all kinds of stuff. So, Jason, it's good to see you on here. All right. Has my head been that bright the entire time? It's horrible. All right. Getting sidetracked here. Anyway, so rough, 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 rough sketch that I have going on here now. Back in there, it looks like I do have some more windows. Maybe I'll get them through here. Looks like there's one. And maybe another one right over there. Now, if you ever go, um, you need to, if you ever get to go to the Pirate House, which you know, honestly, I hope you do, they'll they'll give you the whole tour there, and uh, it's it's pretty super cool because they say the reason these you know the shutters are this color right here, this light blue is if I remember right to ward off evil spirits. I mean, you have to go dig into it and um, see what they say. It's pretty interesting stuff. We had a good time. We stayed at like a uh, we just rented somebody's rental house down there. It's a good time. Alright, so, so I'm, I'm getting the rough layout of this, but we do have this one super awesome tree right here that I've got to... This has got to come to play. Uh, 
Uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Um, that's where I try and put up most of my stuff when I have the opportunity. Right, great, and I'm up there. That bad boy's just kicking out. Let me see somebody back through there. Tree is pretty big. It's pretty much, pretty much cutting through it. Let's see. This will probably be my focus right in here. All right. Now I went today and I bought me some of these micron pins. So what I'm going to do is just start. <clears throat> basically just start sketching in my lines here. What I try and do and again y'all I haven't been doing this sketch to ink thing very long so if anybody has any advice I am totally ready to listen. Um, if you're good in watercolors I'd love you to write me because I'm struggling with doing the initial wash which seems to be very important a lot of the ones I'm watching on YouTube you know the stuff they're doing there they do the uh, initial wash but my shadows never look right so I could use a little assistance in the shadow department if you have the time and availability all right now that little window up top there the thing I like about the pen though is it kind of makes you a little more deliberate in your actions because when you go just with the um, with a pencil, I mean, you know, it's just wide open. But it won't. But this pen will make you just slow down a little bit and take a look at at, at what you're doing, so you don't, you know, have a bunch of craziness. Start thinking a lot about the angles that you're looking at things. Like this little window up here. And I'll go back in later and you can see the... Uh, all these planks. I don't know whether I should do these planks in here. Should I do them later in watercolor or should I start inking them now? That's something if, if you're used to doing this kind of thing, it would be good to know. Let's see here. These windows I um I normally work Saturdays um for a full time job at GoCarolinas.com, part of Cox Media Group. I've been there for fifteen years or so, maybe sixteen now. And um this <clears throat> got to go cover Mural Anderson, a uh, pretty amazing musician that I had the chance to interview long time ago and she was coming back through with her um, her boyfriend who ended up being a composite artist a lot of the stuff that I like to do so it's pretty cool meeting them and watching her play guitar if you've never heard her I recommend you go to go Carolinas and and listen to what she did it was pretty amazing stuff How's that looking?
And these are pretty rough, y'all. Pretty, pretty rough sketches. This, uh, the whole urban sketching kind of genre is kind of new to me. So, I'm not saying I am the best, but really all you have to do is get on Instagram, to be honest with you, and just go look. I mean, there's some people out there doing some amazing, amazing work. this image in my head I was gonna be able to finish this whole thing with you this whole thing here with you tonight oh no we may not make it I am recording this so I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can also log this up on YouTube so check out my YouTube channel it's under Josh King um, creative I think the email is 1SG Josh King first sergeant um, I think I originally got that This window, we made this window too big, but we're in it to win it now. So, trying to stay kind of loose. Now you probably don't need this whole picture of me in here <laughs> along with this because all I do is just put my head down, huh? Yeah, if you go to my Josh King YouTube, you need to watch the video from my niece, uh, Little Miss Marker, who gives you gives you some tips on um, uh, if you're a kid and you're drawing a Christmas picture for your grandparents gives you tips on how to draw that it's pretty hilarious she's amazing I think that uh, I think she might have the creative bug I hope she does all right this come on pretty well this last window should be a little less wide Something like this. I will say the funny thing about doing these kind of things is sometimes you spend all this time working on your drawing, right? And then I've got to go in and paint it. And I just know I'm going to jack it up. That's why I need to find some time, take a watercolor class or something. So I have a little more confidence in that. I think really the big thing is just the watercolors I look at, the ones that I think look pretty amazing are the ones that the light is telling the story. And painting where you're pre-thinking and you know the you have to leave the whites almost like you have to paint backwards. I don't know, it's it's kind of weird. Now, granted, it's been years and years since I did any oil painting, but Seems a lot different to me, and I may be way off. How are we looking? Oh, you know what I did right here? Look. Drew right through my flag. Hmm. Might not be a flag in this one. All right, let's see. Uh, one thing I'd recommend, if you like doing this kind of stuff, this urban sketching stuff, you may want to go check out, um, uh, what was it? I think it was urbansketchers.org. 
or just hashtag it and see there, there's some super cool stuff happening on that side it will humble you the talent you see there I think a lot of the urban sketches, they actually go out on site. And, and I'd like to do that. I put a call out seeing is, you know, is there anybody in Charlotte? Um, is there like an urban sketchers group or anything? And didn't really get any response, but anybody around here in Concord's interested? I'm down uh, just to go out and everybody go find something. And let's see what we all come back with. I think it'd be interesting. I like the way, look at this, let's look at this, pretty cool right here. I like the way right in here, look at how this kind of just transforms to the wood, to right there, good stuff. I like that pipe coming down also right there. Miss that pipe. Let's put that in there. Looks like it comes off a gutter right here. It's almost freestanding. Oh, this is kind of cool. It kind of comes down. Kind of just parallels this. Let's see, there's a couple of mounts here. I'll have to paint that. I almost bought a white pen paint. White paint to uh, help out with the sketching a little bit and to help out the watercolor at the end, but didn't buy it today. I'm going to do all of this real loose. Right, now these poles, these poles are pretty simple. They're not going all the way. Thing. Anybody out there? Is this happening? All right, to it. I'm going to finish this whole front side. I may have to break this up into multiple ones, but maybe what I'll do is I'll check back in with you after I've worked on this some. But let's go ahead and knock out the rest of these front pillars that go on this right here. Let me get another one right about here. Maybe one right here. Then one final one right in here. It does seem like there's a uh, 
Well, it's definitely going to be rough. Definitely going to be rough. If any of um, if y'all are watching from, especially down South America and Europe, uh, Russia, um, I would love to see some of your buildings. You know, things seem to be much cooler when you don't live there. So um, I would love to see some of y'all's stuff. Just a little here. Some of these are like you know, I'll be honest, loosening up when I'm drawing, not the easiest thing for me to do. It's a work in progress. All right. <clears throat> Let's go up here and see. Man, there's slate to, to it. I'm not going to color those things in until I go back and take a look at maybe a tutorial, the best way to do that, because I don't want to ruin it by really messing with it, you know? 
this will be fun trying to get the shadows where they need to be. It's kind of a perfect example of what I was talking about trying to get better at watercolors. You know, we're looking to get rid of all some of this pencil. And you see, when you start stripping it away, it's really just a pretty simple line drawing underneath. And I know everybody has their own method. I watched one the other day where they swore you should not do the pencil draft first, but I'm sorry. I just, I've got to. Only because my stuff's going to be shaky enough. I want to at least have the uh, perspective it somewhat close. Somewhat close. Nothing crazy. Pretty close, though, huh? Let's draw this How's that looking? folks well it's coming along um i'll take a picture of this throw it up on my instagram if you actually tuned in and watched me do some of this i appreciate it if you want me to drive on uh let me know and i'll do another one um if it's if it's really just uh if it's if my audio is bad or you can't see let me know that also i'll see if i can make it better um i appreciate you all the tuning in I really do we um it's kind of new for me I want to do this broadcasting pretty well and I want to get it over to YouTube so you can go back and check it out um thanks for tuning in and uh we will see you next time